My name is Kevin Smith. I'm a professor in the physics department at the Naval Postgraduate School. I'm also currently the chair of the Undersea Warfare Academic Group. Uh, the area of research I'm involved in is underwater acoustics and sonar systems with a specialization in acoustic vector sensors and properties of the acoustic vector field. So there were several objectives in this experiment, uh, all of them utilizing acoustic vector sensors as our uh, passive acoustic sensing technology. For about a year and a half, we've had a sensor that is moored out in the middle of the bay uh, in a project collaborative with the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute on their Mars Cable Observatory. So we collect data from that in real time at NPS all the time. Uh, in addition to that sensor, we took out two similar sensors that are standalone that we put on the shelf off the coast of Santa Cruz about 10 kilometers apart from each other. And part of the goal of having those sensors at those locations was to see if in addition to tracking signals of interest, which could be merchant ships or marine mammals, uh, that we could also potentially localize by having two different sensors at once. From what I understand, we're putting uh, vector sensors on the bottom of the ocean floor and we're reading uh, anything and everything that's coming around the sensors, um, like whales or big cargo ships. In addition to that, we have uh, a drifting buoy that has acoustic vector sensors tethered from it and it floats around on the surface. We put that out in different locations and also observe the signals that we can measure. Uh, and then finally, the other thing we're using the sensors for, other than just tracking signals of interest, is to learn information about the environment. And in particular, the sensors that are on the bottom, we were testing today uh, with some plosive signals to see if we can learn properties of the seafloor. We went out on the FOMAR and we deployed light bulbs uh, near the two sensors that are on the ocean floor. And from what I understand, being out here for the last week is we're going to look at the data um, and see what what we get from the sensors uh, at the time and place that we pop those light bulbs. So we're really at the beginning part of this test. Uh, two weeks we'll have the sensors out that we put, on, uh, put out on Monday off the coast of Santa Cruz. Uh, and so a successful test is to make sure we get the systems in the water properly and safely. So we were able to execute that on Monday. We had very good conditions on Monday. Yesterday was a little bit rougher. We deployed the buoy uh, and we were able to recover it and we collected data on it. So we've not yet had a chance to analyze any of that. The sensors that are on the seafloor off of Santa Cruz, we won't even see that data until we pull them out at the end of next week. Uh, and that includes the data that we collected today on the implosive signals for uh, Alexander's dissertation work. The sea test that we had today uh, was very, very important for the work that I've been developing as a PhD student. My research focused on the inversion of environmental parameters, you know, of the bottom of the ocean. The idea is to try to improve techniques that were previously done using only pressure sensors. Now we are using uh, vector sensors, which provides us pressure and velocity, uh, particle velocity information. So take advantage of this diverse set of information that we have with these type of sensors. The technologies, uh, the sensors themselves, and the types of processing we do for tracking either marine mammals or merchant vessels is the same kind of processing we do to track other targets of interest to the Navy. So we are building up our skills in seeing how far we can track something, uh, how accurately we can track something, how quietly a target can be that we can still track. So this project is funded in part by the Office of Naval Research, the Naval Research Program at the Naval Postgraduate School, as well as some sponsorship from Los Alamos National Labs. Uh, and then the closest collaborator I have is Dr. Paul Leary, a research assistant professor in the physics department, who is really the primary engineer on getting these systems ready for deployment and processing the data. And the final thing I'll say is that um, all of the deployments we've done for this test and a number of other tests in the past have been done in collaboration with the uh, NOAA research vessel Fulmar back here.